Hello. <laughs> Don't mind me. Just just a gamer gaming with my long sword by my computer. <laughs> I love this view. <laughs> There's something with it and with this hat. That was really fun building this last time and the challenge of like incorporating everything into the monster. It's really grown not just on me but by the looks of the comments also on you guys. Uh, I, I was planning for the longest time to just have a temporary monster and then move on. But now <laughs> seeing, seeing what you guys are saying in the comments. I'm thorn or split. It seems to me like you guys really want us to keep the monster around and not like rip it down and, and move into a proper storage room. I'm sorry monster. You, you are a proper storage solution. Don't tell it this because it can hear but eventually we're gonna have to. We're gonna have to move away from it because it's gonna be too small. But that day doesn't need to be today. As I said it was really fun to set this up last time but it did drain me of resources and now I am a very poor boy. Check this out. I got 14 volt diamonds. I'm even low on car carbon which I've been good on 28 of those. Basically long story short uh, I, ne I need to boot up my computer. <laughs> Hold on. I'm just going into the machine room. There we go. Uh, I, I want to see how much knowledge I have. I have 60 knowledge remaining. Yeah. I, I think it's time for volts. Now hopefully I get a semi-simple recipe. <laughs> oh no, that's dice. I thought it was ink. Hello there, flower. <laughs> You're the kindest. Iron, dye, sugarcane, and rack. Brilliant. Easy peasy. And the computer is dead again. <laughs> Maybe I should put some more coal in and just leave it in there. Waste some coal. I am Wasteman Skull after all. Oh, I like this little new shelf setup I have for all my tools and compass and all of this. It's great. I guess I can put my rockets back in there. Yeah. Spice rack. Brilliant little thing. Carrots. Oh! I'm actually out of golden carrots. And they no longer drop in the vault. I wonder if I have any vault steak. I don't. Okay. Well, I guess I'm, I'm going to start eating uh, vault sweets. And this time I'm not going to forget Sir Pouch. So, my plan is simple. I'm going to sleep in my velvet bed. Mmm. <laughs> velvet dreams. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Uh, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. The plan is uh, to run some vaults and uh. gather as much materials as possible. And I actually have two skill points unspent, which I think I'm going to spend in a lucky hit. This is a very cool mechanic where you have a percentage of lucky hit based on your items. And I currently have 4% for my sword and I think that's it. Yeah, so I have 4% chance to trigger an effect if I choose an effect. And I'm gonna pick Cleave. Adds a cleave to your lucky hits, causing you to deal part of your damage in a 5x5 five five area around the target. This is a very satisfying thing where my attacks become like big explosions every now and again. And by every now and again, I mean 4% of the time currently. I, I definitely could benefit from finding a shield or another offhand that has lucky hit. You can also get it on helmets instead of the crit hit resistance, but it's quite rare. But I'm going to work towards it, and I think that's, that's the name of the game in a lot of things in Vault Hunters. Working towards stuff. Anyway, with that, I think I'm ready for vault number one. Oh, and hopefully it's an elixir because I have an elixir bounty. It's not. It's a winter scav. I will never say no to a scav run. Two saddlebags and one zombie arm. Could be a little bit tricky though. I'm gonna let the vault load in for a second. Look at the snowflakes. Mmm, winter. Right, here we go. I guess since I need a little bit of everything, I should just, I should just basically loot a little bit of everything, I suppose. Oh, that was a cleave. It didn't really do much because there weren't that many mobs, but... Uh, okay, we're good. That was a cleave nonetheless. Finally, some more ornate chests. I'm not doing very good on the scav so far. Uh, that's a sack. Nope. And another wizard wand. Ah, typical. So I found two of the mega items. This could be a little bit dicey. That guy's gonna hurt back there. The sniper. Ooh, don't you weep, don't you weep. Oh. Ah, almost, almost perfect. I'm not gonna lie, it's a lot easier to vault after I decided to ditch the elytra. Ooh, dungeon. A hard dungeon, but it's living and I need a living item. Oh. I don't really have any good abilities and stuff for... Oh wait, I have Frost Nova. I don't really have a very good build for dungeon. But... 
As long as I don't get a sniper, I think this might be doable. Freeze them. Yes. Fight them off. Dungeons are so much fun, but they're so very scary at times. Yes. Okay. Come on. I should be able to... Yes! I got the zombie arm! I got the zombie arm immediately. And now I just loot a little bit more. Because it's a hard dungeon, these chests are slightly better than normal living chests, which is also cool. They have slightly more items in them. And this looks like a large one. If I'm lucky, I could find a potion modification bench thing and get a better potion. But if I'm unlucky, I will run alive. This is only two skeletons. No, three. No, four. Okay, never mind me. Careful. Oh, that was a nice cleave. Kite, 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 kite. I'm, I'm cornered. Okay, I got this. Sir? Nice. I actually don't think I've ever seen this dungeon. I think this is a large skeleton dungeon. Or it could be a medium. That's a potion archive over there! Yes, so if I can defeat the champion protecting it... <laughs> Four zombie arms right there, by the way. If I can defeat the champion protecting that, then I will unlock a new potion uh, modifier thing. And I don't think this is a large, it might just be a medium. Right, let's heal up, and I'm gonna wait for the cooldown to come back. Please get a semi-easy champion, please don't spawn with a bow. Oh wait, that wasn't the champion spawner. It's one more wave, and then champions. Okay, or champion. Gotta make sure to not take too much damage here, so I don't waste mana. That was a bad hit. Yes. Okay, heal up. Drink a little goblin's vial. I think I want to wait again and heal one more time. That must be the champion spawner right there. Okay, I guess I can loot these. Oh no, come on! <laughs> that was so unlucky. Ah, oh, okay. I'm gonna wait for one more heal. I better do this right. I don't want to fail. It should just spawn one champion though and nothing else. Oh. This couldn't be scripted better. I <laughs> just pull a mob sport, mob trap. Oh, I gotta go and kill these guys. I hear them. I don't want I want a peaceful champion fight, please. I heard you. I heard you walking around. Step okay, you guys are outside. Oh wait, did I miss this area? I did. Please no more traps. Please no more traps. I'm preparing for the champion. <laughs> this is a very cute looking skeleton! <laughs> It's got like the blush cheeks. I like it. I I think that's good enough. Come on then, champion. What do I get? Uh, double freeze, double slow, and super strong. That's kind of good, I think. I didn't get too unlucky with that. Oh, that was a hard hit though. Oof, sir. That one hit really hurts. But I did it, and I got the mega drill effect. Ooh, for the pacifist bottle. Mega drill, so that I could cast... Yeah, I, I don't really care about that, actually. <laughs> That's not something I would use. But I got it, I unlocked it, which means that I crossed it off the list. Yeah, dungeons are amazing. I love these, and they're, they're a lot of fun. And uh, uh, also very scary at times. <laughs> and the good thing is, is that now I have the zombie arms, and I have the repages, probably, that I'm gonna need. Actually, I should check that. I have 17. Yeah, I thought I'd been looting a lot of wooden. The bad thing is, I don't have a single saddlebag, and that is the toughest one to find. So I should probably uh, just focus on Nate. That will also help me with my carboon, carboon needs. Uh-oh. This is bad. That guy is a tier 2 skeleton. Oh, the damage! Okay, I'm on a little bit of a pickle here. Uh, guys, calm down. I'm, I'm, he I'm healing in the corner. <laughs> More living chests. I mean, I won't say no to that. That's ornate, though. Up here is ornate. Bears! There we go. Nothing and nothing. Ooh, what's up here? Uh, no. <laughs> Beetroot and wooden chests. <laughs> oh, I was hoping. I had hopium for the ornators. Aha! These... No, that's a sack. I don't want to get sacks. Oh, nothing. Oh, there are more nates here, I think. Yes. Mr. Chests, if you could be so kind, do not sack me. Ah, oh, getting sacked on ordinary Thursday. <laughs> oh, but there's more nates here. This room has been great. I think three or four PYs. That's one! That's a saddlebag! 
Yes, okay, there is there is a, a, a winnable. It's winnable. I just have to be very focused on getting ornates and not waste time on on making a bridge to get the wooden. I'm saying one thing and doing another. I am an idiot. Okay, get away from me, skeletons. I don't have time for you. I'm not going that way. That's living and I can't really... That was a good clean. I can't really pass up on living either. Because knowledge is power. I reckon I've got quite a bit of knowledge actually in this run. Your nades? No, that's ores. I also need ores. I mean, I need everything, really. <laughs> that's another zombie arm. I have like 52 <laughs> zombie arms. No, I don't have 52. But I have a lot of zombie arms. Oh, that's gilded, which I don't need technically, but I do need the vault diamonds, don't I? So I'm gonna go for them as well. This is why. This is why I can't complete these scavs because I get so disfocused on the task at hand. Ooh, I just spawned in way too many mobs. I think that's just gilded up there. I'm gonna move on. Uh oh, sniper! You know what, guys? I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna move on. That's a tier two sniper down there. I don't. I don't want to get shot in the butt. Close you off and hide. <laughs> that's gilded up there. Come on. No nades anywhere. Oh, oh. Talk about ornate! This is an X mark! If this is not trapped, I'm gonna find a saddlebag in here. But if it's trapped, I'm probably gonna unalive. Uh, and I don't really have time to make a big hole like I'm doing. My res the good thing is, is that my mana has recovered, so... There is a chance. That was terrible. <laughs> There's a chance I could get out if it's trapped. It's gonna be tough though. Come on, please don't be trapped. It's trapped. It's trapped. Oh, and I made it. I made it. Ah, oh, I gotta get out of this room. No! Oh, that was that was a tease and a half. I'm glad I got out though. <laughs> I'll take I'll take the small victories right now. Block this off. I don't want any illagers following me. 130, and I have yeah, I have a couple of kiwis or 28 kiwis, more than a couple. Uh, any ornates down here, maybe? Maybe we can get lucky? No, that's just a lot of wooden chests. Oh, hello there, sir. <laughs> Scared me. No ornates, no ornates, no ornates, no ornates anywhere. And 50 seconds on the clock. <laughs> How's it going? It's going great. It's going absolutely fine. Seriously, there are no ornates anywhere. Oh. Oh, shiver my timbers, Mr. Shiv. Get out of my way. Uh-oh, the clock has already started. Uh, I might have overgreeded. I don't know how far from home I am. Kiwi and run. <laughs> that should be a slogan, actually. <laughs> a slogan for Vault Hunters. <laughs> Greed, Kiwi and run. Oh, please, someone make me a poster that I can put in my house with Iskalman, Kiwi, Greed, Greed, Kiwi and run. <laughs> oh, that's a good idea. I should be fine here though, even though I'm messing up my jumps. <laughs> I think the exit is right over here. Ah, oh, that was close. That was close on a very tough, very difficult scav. Kind of proud of that. Oof. GG Vault. 160 chests. I mean, I gotta, I gotta be proud of that. I didn't find enough ornates, but because of that dungeon we did, 45 living. That might have yielded quite a bit of knowledge. We're gonna have a look. Let me just... Yeah, I didn't get the stuff. How many zombie arms did I get? Eleven! <laughs> and all for the m machine to chew on. Here you go, sir. Okay, how much knowledge did I get? I got... 173! Wow! That's incredible. Only 13 volt diamonds though, but I didn't loot a lot of gilded. That's... that's a lot of stuff, actually. I am extremely happy with 173 uh, knowledge. That's... that's very, very good. That's a good run. And this is the first time I'm diluting straight into my refined, straight into my computer. Here you go, computer. And hopefully things don't go in here. Hopefully things do go in the drawers when they can. Yes, these things are not in drawers. Perfect. Also got a little bit of gems with the emphasis on a little bit. That was not a lot at all. Oh, my <laughs> computer needs more juice. Just eat all my coal. This is so wasteful the way I'm doing this. I should probably... Uh, build a better system for that ASAP. Did I get any gear? Yeah, I got leggings and a magnet and then a bunch of jewels. Let's see. Ooh, two mining speed ones. Oh, that's... 
potentially a good one if I can cut that down a bit. I'm gonna save that and ooh, 11 smelting. These can go bye bye. These will go save save <laughs> and then uh, leggings as I say, mine are level 20 so there's a potential for an upgrade but these are only common and well they could have a prefix. 9% item rarity is actually quite nice and the mana region is okay. Well it's a low roll. Uh, nah. And the magnets, yeah, no, the magnet is not better either. Recycling, we do. And then we go again. Well, granted, I can make this more sugar cane. Okay, I should really, really, really upgrade my sugar cane farm very, very shortly. <laughs> but not, not yet. We got 38, it's got two remaining. Copper, spider eye, and what is that? Deep slate? Yes. Oh, I don't have any spider eyes. Wait, do I have spider eyes in here? Yes, I do. I was thinking to myself, I have been killing spiders every time I see them because I know that that spider eye one can be a little bit tricky. It was just not in the computer. Now this time, I am going to make an elixir seal to guarantee the elixir. So invest an eternal soul, which you nowadays only get in completion crates, as well as a vault diamond and then some essence. Because I do have this bounty and it's getting old. Like it's a level 20 bounty or something like that. And I don't want it to be locking me from getting new bounties. So that is probably a good investment. And with Elixir, it's usually a little bit easier to just not focus on anything specifically, but loot everything in my way, which is very fitting. Oh, and yeah, I should buy some leggings as well. Rare plus leggings. As I say, there's upgrade potential on my leggings. Wizard leggings. And they are... Oh, I like the trap this arm. The health is lower than what I currently have, but the armor is too higher on the base. And it has a lot higher critical hit resistance. Let's see what we get here. 5% resistance. I'm going to lose some cooldown reduction and some item quantity and trade it for trap disarm and item rarity. So I think that's kind of equally. Let's see. Defense goes from 54 to 57. Yeah, I'll, I'll make that swap and uh, throw these in the bin. <laughs> Let's go again. An elixir this time. Ooh, Luther's Dream! Yay! That's actually, that's an uber modifier, and this this specific one makes it so chests cannot be trapped. And I got a beautiful pirate theme. I'm a big fan of this theme, although it's got crabs. It's got crabs, and they are quite frustrating at times. They're quite difficult to kill. Now, my hopes are that, A, a wooden chest gives a lot of elixir, because that makes the elixir usually very simple, and B... That I found a lot of, uh, that I find a lot of uh, gilded chests because I need vault diamonds. Turn my magnet on. And, well, the first, first things first, the wooden chests are not great. They're pretty bad, but at least they're not nothing, which they can be sometimes. And that's, that's good news. We take the positive. There's the crabs I'm talking about. Sir. <laughs> okay, nothing is giving a lot yet, or I haven't found what's giving a lot yet. There's some, some ornate and some living up here. Let's see about these. Oh, they are giving a lot. Okay, so ornate are jackpots. You see, the orbs are massively big. That's how you can tell if you didn't know. What about living chests? The crab it first. <laughs> I do a lot of damage. This sword is great. Oh, they're also jackpots. There might even be bigger jackpots, actually. Nice. Oh, and coins are jackpots. Jackpoints. Jack coins. <laughs> Whatever coins are jackpot, that's usually a very, very good thing. Hold on, is there a... I'm looking at the minimap. Is there an epic ornate POI down here? There might be. Deal with these first. Sit down. Give me the wooden chests. And if I go into this little tunnel... Yes, look at this. Oh. Excuse me, drowns. This is my little house in here. Oh, okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I don't want to get tried on the... the, the this guy. This guy. There we go. This is brilliant. This is an, uh, an epic POI. They are quite rare. The old dungeons you might know the mess. And that was a chest plate. Of course, the dream on looting ornates. Oh, and nothing can be trapped, actually, so I don't need to be worried about that. Oh, another trinket! I was just gonna say, the dream on looting ornates is, of course, to find a trinket. And I just did. That's... <laughs> that's... That's great! That's great! That's fantastic! We got another trinket! Luther's dream indeed, and look at my elixir bar. I'm 22 minutes remaining and I've almost completed it. Wow. More nates. I wonder if we could do the double or is that very greedy? That might be. 
might be a, a, a way to greedy dream. But a man can dream. I, a man can dream. Excuse me, sir. Ah, that completed the elixir as well. <laughs> and my first uh, gilded. I don't think it's got a single wolf diamond there, though. Hold on, wait a minute. Did I complete the elixir in the very first room? I did. <laughs> I did. Now, granted, it was a very good room with that epic ornate, and ornate happened to be uh, jackpot chests, but still, that's pretty impressive. Stop throwing tridents in my face, Mr. Mega Drowned. There's a lodestone, so I could, I could complete this, but you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to say that I'm going east, that's my direction, so I'm going to rebind my compass here by shift right-clicking. Boom. And now my compass is bound to this room, so that I can find my way back to that elixir and continue to greed because greed is good oh another epic ornate um <laughs> hole because this is pretty much a hole right <laughs> oh and more ornates this is this is great success vault and it's looter's dream so i mean i should really greed to the max in this vault maybe if i'm quick i could get a 200 chest count Ooh, another uh, lodestone. I could rebind. I'm still heading east. Yeah, I could rebind this here. Oh, that's a dungeon. <laughs> I thought someone was watching me then. That's funny. Uh, this is an illiter one, but a normal. Illiters are harder than the skeletons by default. Oh, and it's just coins. Uh, yeah, these are these are difficult. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh. I did not expect to be spawned on from behind like that. Uh, sirs? That's a bit cheesy, isn't it? You can't get me here. Uh, fine. But you did spawn, you did spawn behind me. Okay, you spawned behind me and that scared me. There was also a lot of you. Yeah, illagers are more dangerous than zombie, uh, than skeletons. And also since it's a coin, it's not as exciting, but... I could get another archive. <laughs> That's uh that's not a door, that's a bedrock. Is that it? Okay, one ranger. Gotta kite them up. I really don't wanna die here. Having the completion. Ouch! Ouch! Oh they hurt. They hurt. Yes, yes. Ooh. Block the thorns. Oh, then you come in super quick, man, from the side. Oh, is that all of you down here? Yep. I still have to fight the champion though, and I don't have very many resources to do so. I don't have any potion charges left, and I don't know if it's in here. Uh, no, 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 Iskal! Oh, you messed up. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just having to flee. Took way too many hits there. It's not worth it. Better to loot up. Ah, oh, dungeons, Iskal. One, one. Aha! Show me the way, guys. <laughs> Yay! I almost missed this. This is another epic PI. Yep. Oh, I found so many of these this round. This is great. Who's throwing tridents? Oh, it's a gilded one. That's perfect. Yes! The, l the mini library. I have a lot of stuff following me. Oh, and that's a sniper. Careful. I need to dump out some stuff, just so I don't miss anything. Oh, that was a mod box. Uh, I might have missed a few mod boxes then, unfortunately. Sir, can I get into your house, please? He's like greeting me at the door. Ooh, more ornates. Oh, even more ornates. Don't mind if I do. And even more ornates. Wow, this room for hunting ornates. Has been the jackpot. Ooh, I gotta be careful though. Stop. Just give me all the loot. Yeah, this has been an absolute jackpot room for ornate chests. Wow. There's another epic one in here. Hello there, sirs. Living in wooden one. One and a half minutes plus kiwis left to greed. I gotta make the most of it. I gotta make the most of it. One more room. Greed is great as long as it doesn't hurt anyone. This has been 
an Omega Vault. Oh, oh, I just jumped down. And this is a very, very, very difficult room, usually. I think I'm fine, though. 35 seconds. Gotta hurry up. There are more nades up here. Oh, and a champion. Double champion. What? I haven't had any champions this vault. I don't have time for you now, guys. Yeah, one dead. Uh, I got a relic fragment and a sword. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Time is ticking. Uh, Kiwis. Panic slightly. I want to get these as well. And I hear more mobs downstairs. <laughs> this is chaos. Eat Kiwis calmly. I hear more chests. It could be... Could be a good room downstairs, but I also don't want to die now. Yeah, I can see on the map that's an epic ornate PUI. Uh, how much health do I have? Not much. And I don't have any better fruit than kiwis. I don't think. Oh, I think this is gonna kill me if I go in here. Oh, there are so many chests though. That's unlucky. Unlucky, 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 but I gotta make it out. I have to make it out. In the best of cases, there would have been another lodestone in that room right next to that PUI. And while greed is good, I think that at this point in time, I, it would have actually killed me. So I'm just gonna, just gonna get out. That was, without seeing any statistics, that must be, must be the best vault I've done in this world. I'm hoping for a 200 plus chest. That felt so good. I got so much stuff and a trinket. Right, let's see it. 212 chests looted, as well as 167 coin piles. And out of those, 59 was ornate. Ah, oh, that was so good. That was so good with the looter's dream as well. And I can finally claim that bounty, which has been sitting there for a while. After a nice night of velvet sleep, it's time to have a look at what I got. Well, actually, uh, it's time for a sweet block. Hmm. Good stuff. Right, I got an unidentified relic. I got four repair cores right there. Let's open this. Uh, that is a, a relic handle, mine hammer handle. Okay, I only have one of those. Actually, wait, I have three more of these to open. Might just as well. All of these are from the same set, the Twitch set, of which I have none so far. <laughs> okay, 78 knowledge this time, but I didn't get nearly as many uh, uh, living. I got 19 vault diamonds. I was hoping for a little bit more. How much carbon did I get? 503. That's good. Yeah, that's really, really good. Oh, wow. <laughs> I got a lot of gear. What I can do is I can open... Well, I can open the bounty crate first, but then I can open the elixir crate before I identify the gear. Oh, by the way, four vault diamonds from, I believe, the bounty. Pretty good. And what about this? That's a copiously jewel, I think. I think it was rare boots. Yeah, rare plus boots. Nice. Oh, and a good pulverizing one. Right, let's have a joint look at all of these things, starting with the jewels. Garbage, 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 gar... Ooh! A legendary, but with reach. <laughs> I don't really care about that, but I'll save it. That's a good save. That's a good save if I can cut it. That's bad. And that's the copiously one. Unfortunately, very, very large, copiously. Hmm. No, I'm gonna recycle that too. <laughs> I got a rare axe. I'm not an axe person. Ooh, 6% lucky. It. That's, that would be very useful, but not on a scrappy or common wand. I'd love that on a shield. Ooh, that's a rare wand with a lot of ability power and soul bound and cooldown reduction. And another rare axe and a scrappy shield. What about the boots? They are 2% movement speed. I mean, it's a little bit... Mm, they're not bad, but I like mine better. Recycle all of this. No, wait. There was something I was going to keep there. Uh, maybe it was this wand. Let me add... Put something for there of effect. No, I don't really care about that. Oh, that's a good reroll, though. Look at that. 8% cooldown reduction and 6% lucky hit chance. The only problem is, is that I kind of like my 11% block chance. It gives me a lot of defense if I do this. Yeah, that's 6% defense. I'll keep the wand around for a little bit and, and see if I change my mind. Oh, and I accidentally identified my trinket using the thing. Oh no, it's a Wonders Hourglass, which this is a good trinket. This is a very good trinket for when you make customized vaults. It adds two and a half minutes to the timer. 
But it's another blue trinket, so it competes with the end ranker. I can only have one of these. But as I say, this is one of those trinkets that you want to keep and, and sort of use for your special vault runs. So, tell you what, let's make another spice rack. And then, so gluttony char charm. I mean, it looks kind of funny sitting like that. Maybe I'll put it here and I'll put my extra trinkets on there. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's neat. Nice hourglass. If I get super omega lucky here, I'd get a grid, a crafting grid, which I can't afford to craft at the moment. But let's see. No, I, I got a speed upgrade. <laughs> it's, it's not bad. <laughs> it's not bad. It's not great. It's not bad. So in those two vaults, I have accumulated 311 knowledge essence. Well, I haven't accumulated 311. I think I had like 60, but I've accumulated a lot. One thing that I would like to do as a little bit of a convenience thing is change this drawer out for a compacting drawer. Compacting drawer. Nice. And then I can empty all of these and then unlock it, break it. Oh, for goodness sake, this, this pickaxe is just so good. Or Paxel. It's too fast. Too fast to handle the monster. Okay, so lock this. And I'll put this in here. Yes. That turns it automatically into shards. So that I can see much easier how much I have. And if I would be good at math, I would know what 34 is. But I can do this. Look. I get around four knowledge stars we have so far. That's that's good progress. How about the carbon? <laughs> Over 1,000. Also, 111 of the big ones. I think... With that last vault, I, I think I want to keep going. Honestly, I am having a ton of fun. And since I do need the resources, this is a good thing. By the way, this is my mouse, my diamond mouse, and it keeps <laughs> keep right-clicking it. There we go. <laughs> good recipe. Uh, flowers, copper, granite, and leather. Do I have any leather? I do. Oh, there's my vault steak. Hmm. I'll save that for a rainy day because that's really good food. As far as flowers go, I think I can use any one tall flower for this. If I've counted right, this should be number 15. Yes, <laughs> number 15. Here you go. <laughs> it's like giving, handing out flowers. Right, so copper and granite. Here you go. And how is my bounty situation looking now? Complete a scavenger hunt, you say? Oh, but this reward isn't the best, though. I got a bit of money and Lermar. What about this one? Kill assassin mobs for some pay night. I don't care about soul flames. You know what? I re-roll. Try and find something more fun. Complete any vault for some Beniotite and a bad mining speed jewel. Hmm. Find 26 knowledge. Oh, this is perfect. This is great. 14 chromatic iron. Yeah, this is... Or steel, sorry. This is what we want. That's so good for building up resources, those type of bounties. And I guess I guess we can run a random vault this time. Random completion. Oh, and actually, a magnet is kind of suffering a little bit. I'm going to gamble that it will survive one more run. We did change it a while back, by the way, in case you didn't know. Vault gear items, including magnets, now break like Elytra's does in vanilla, so that you won't lose the item. They just get broken and won't work, and then you can repair them. And also, also, in case you were wondering, we absolutely included the new Shulker Plus mod in Vault Hunters. Look at that. <laughs> Not that it's super useful for me right now at the moment, but it's it's a good organization mod and I love it. So I thought I'd point that out. I have a bite of my sweets and uh, random vault. We do. And it's a monolith. Ah, <sighs> Oh, but it's an uber vault again. It's a prismatic vault. Oh, I should have waited a little bit longer. Prismatic vault, day. Eh? That means that there will be a lot of callus fragments. I think there's a special uh, PUI in here as well, though. An epic one. Hello? Oh, oh yeah. Man, I'm getting lucky with these, but how am I gonna, I'm gonna tackle this then? This is not great. I need to find another way in. Aha, this may be it. Yep. Hello there, sir bear. Oof, my house. This time, however, traps can exist. So I gotta be a little bit more worried about that. Yep, <laughs> there we go. Classic. <laughs> Hello there! <laughs> Aha! Monolith number one. Monolith number two. Oh, that's a 
That's a big boy sniper. Ouch, 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 ouch. I might die here. Heal! Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Woohoohoo! Please don't fall on my head. The tier 2 snipers are so scary. So very scary. Heal, please. I need better cooldown reduction. <laughs> He's still alive over there. Look at him. Oh, I blocked that shot. Bro! No! Stop surviving everything! Oh! I thought I was dead. <laughs> I thought I was dead. 100%. Yeah, they, uh, they hurt. The tier 2 snipers. They are scary boys. And there's another one! Oh! Man, that's unlucky. They are rare to spawn in. Oh, and then poison. <laughs> From the best vault ever to very chaos, very much chaos. Ah, the other vault was also not trapped. <laughs> that helps. Hello? This is an epic POI. Question is, what is it? It's ornate. Ooh. <gasps> oh, the polar bear hurt. Fell on my head. Oh, there's another one. I'm glad I looked up. <laughs> I'm glad I looked up. <laughs> Sir? Stop camping. It's my house. This is a dungeon? Oh, a spider dungeon. A normal one. Hmm. Spiders are... Oh, sir. I did not think you could get up there. Spiders are quite difficult because of their hitboxes and stuff, as you probably know from playing Minecraft normally. And these are... These are dungeon spiders. It's a gilded... Gilded dungeon too. And I want gilded chests because I want vault diamonds. So that's... That's good. I think this is a small one, maybe? I can't remember. Maybe a medium one. <laughs> so far, no spiders. Hello? There we go. There we go. Okay, I deal um, a decent amount of damage to them. But, as I say, spiders are, are difficult for other reasons. Oh, and they crit. Oh, oh my. Snipe him. Portion, 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 portion. I think I got double critted there. Ooh. <laughs> this is scary. This is very scary. Oh, there is an archive right there. All right. Um, let's, oh, I drank the last charge there. Might not have been smart. Oh, I just need five more chests for another charge. Okay. Does that mean that I just have one more spawner and that's the champion? Kind of scared about the champion because there's uh, not a lot of space to fight in here. And he's going to hit hard. So, a spider. Hello. Double poison spider, and it's a black widow champion. Oh, oh. As long as he can't get to me, I'm fine. Yes! Woo! That was a good frost nova, I think. And then I hit my lucky hit as well. Nice, what did I get? I got frost nova effect. Ooh! So now I can change my potion into casting a frost nova if I go with the pacifist bottle. It's quite good actually. It could save me a skill point because I do use Frost Nova, but right now I think I prefer the mana. But I should say that is Dungeons 1 is Cal 2. Oh, I've only got nine minutes remaining and I haven't been getting my monoliths. Uh, that's bad. I should probably focus on monoliths for a little while and see if I can get them all. And there is number three. Oh, and this is a dragon room with lots of coins everywhere. You know what? I'm not in... I say I'm a poor boy, but I'm not a gold poor boy. I'm not in need of that at the moment. I'm just gonna move on, I think. Moving on from that is gonna come back and bite me if I die and have to pay for my body. Oh my goodness! Wow! A <laughs> random champion that scared the life out of me. A resistance tanky boy with uh, freeze, freeze effect as well as life reach. Too slow for me though. Too slow. A rare shield. Oh, that's big. I do need a new shield actually. Where did that guy come from? That was so scary. He came from here. He spawned here just... <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I laugh, but I'm still shaking. <laughs> Oh, I think my magnet just broke, actually. Yep, it broke. Dank. Um, not dank. Anti-magnet. <laughs> That's bad. I did. I thought that it was going to survive this run, to be honest. But as I say, they don't break fully. They're just like, they don't work. So I guess it's going to be a little bit of a pain to loot without a magnet. But I do need three more monoliths. Any monoliths? Hello? Aha! There it is. Number five. And, even though it is a little bit of pain not having a functioning magnet, 
I want these living chests and I'll have to pick up the loot manually. Sir, give me these. Oh, oh I forgot about the bounty. Oh, thank goodness that I went for these. 26 knowledge. I haven't got more than 20. Yeah, this vault has not been as successful as the other ones, but that's okay. I did complete the bounty, and if I can complete the monoliths too, and then get out, repair my magnet, all that stuff, then I feel like we've done pretty good. Oh, but what is this? <laughs> oh, it's a castle. It's the mega ornate castle blacksmith. I think it's called a blacksmith, actually, not a castle, but it is a castle. Now that is going to put a lot of stress on me, because I don't want to leave this behind. And looting without a magnet is absolutely horrible. Hello, my friend Danny. Any chests? There's a very sparse amount of chests so far. Okay, I think that's everything upstairs. Nope, it's not. Cheeky chest hiding. Let's go down. And I think there are three floors with lots and lots of ornates. That is floor number one. Complete. I'm gonna miss some stuff that's just flying everywhere. But that's room number floor number one. Complete. Two and a half minutes. No. Oh no 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 no. Do I have kiwis? Oh, I didn't bring the kiwis. I remember putting them in the computer. Oh no. I might. I might have looted some though. Hold on. Kiwis. 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 Ki none. I haven't looted a single kiwi. Really? Uh, that's problematic. He says going further down into. <laughs> Into the blacksmith. Yeah, you know what? I actually, I may have, I may have overshot this because I put the kiwis in the computer. I can't kiwi greed and run. Or greed kiwi run. This way. Go, 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 go. And I just gotta hope for easy monoliths. Actually, I might not even have time to hope for easy monoliths. Time is ticking fast. Oh, there's one. There's one. Come on, easy monolith, easy monolith, easy monolith. As in, be right in the center of the room. No. No, 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 no. Well, that's not good. Okay, I gotta go this way, though. I gotta get home. Did I really not get a single... Uh, I got a repair core there. I could have repaired my magnet now, but it's too late. Didn't get a single kiwi. That's crazy. Or it's in another pouch. Oh, no, that's not my home! That's not my home! He miscalculated the greed! Uh-oh. <laughs> no! I'm dead! <laughs> Stupid! The portal home! <laughs> That's what you get for being a greeter. 161 chests though, and 61 ornate. That's what you get for being a greeter and leaving your kiwis in the computer. Look at this. There they are. There they are. Ah! Let's get a nice velvet sleep and think about our mistakes. And that was the vault I said that I don't need the gold in. Let's see. Let's see if I actually have enough. 29. Yeah, I should I should be fine. Vault, gold. I have 85. Good number. Here you go, machine. I have to pay for my sins of greed. I can't believe I missed. I left the peeves at home. Now, to be fair, I did realize it in time to run out, but still over greeded. <laughs> That's kind of, that's kind of double on me. Double for putting the kiwis in the computer and then miscalculating and thinking I had more time than I did. I needed another 10 seconds. It wasn't that far off. Let's repair my magnet before we do anything else so that I have done that and so that I don't forget. There we go. Let's see how I did though. 26 knowledge. That was exactly what I needed for the bounty. That's not a lot, but I didn't, don't think I looted a lot of uh, living chest in there. And that's a crate open with a 14 chromatic. I like that. That's a great bounty. 39 callous fragments. Right. I was supposed to look at that. Quite a healthy amount of jewels and gear, actually. More than I thought. But then again, I did get the blacksmith room. I'm excited about the rare plus shield. But let's look through the jewels first. Mm, oh, that's a pretty good one. That's it's only 3%. Can't really get much better though at the moment. Yeah, these can probably burn. These be saved. And then, hopefully that's a good shield. It's a coconut shield. I like that model. Ooh, they look pretty good, but we just upgraded. Oh, but 8% item quantity is really good. As well as the mana regen. Durability, yeah, it's not, <laughs> it's not super exciting. Let's see if I can get lucky. Yeah. Do it again. Two armor and one level in Nova. Hmm. I don't use Nova though. Oh, that was lucky. I need more bronze. Let's see. 9% increased damage. Hmm. 
They might be... I might want to swap. So I, I can I can go with my tanky ones or my more powerful ones. How much more damage do I get? So 69.4 to 75. That's considerable, isn't it? And then defenses. I drop 1% defense, but I also lose some trap disarm. Trap disarm is nice. But you know what? I'll try. Yeah, I'll swap them for now. I'll recycle that. And now for the shield. 15% block chance. Mine has 11%. But... I could try and get this to be a lucky hit one, although mine is legendary soul chance, which is quite good actually. I get a lot of soul shards. But if I could get lucky hit, I think I will swap. I believe the lucky hit is quite uh, a rare one now by the looks of things. I'm not getting not getting it at all. Wait, wait, can I not craft it with my modifier workbench? Am I stupid? Lucky. Oh, I can craft it. Yes, I am stupid then. Hold on, let's see if I can get extra block chance. Yeah, like that. And nope, extra resistance. This is getting so expensive right now. It's minus crafting potential. Yes, like that. Let's do that. And then I can craft it in here with a little bit of gold and some amplifying focuses. Lucky hit. Hope for a six. I got a five. I'll take a five. Yay! I'm a coconut man now. It is difficult to be a greedy boy, but tell you what, we are level 30 now, which is very exciting because then we get an expertise point because uh, it's every five levels. Oh, did I already max out Bounty Hunter? <laughs> have I just been taking one Bounty when I could have been taking two? Oh no, Iskal. <laughs> Mine ate the Lexan right. Okay, tell you what, let's just do this so I don't forget. That's a good one and this we can re-roll. Five red scrolls for six vault diamonds and a mining speed. Oh, and a black chromatic and 11 cro Boo, this is really good. Yeah, let's do both of those. As I said, <laughs> we, we, we are level 30 now, so we can take an expertise. And I'm a big fan of this expertise, the Fortuitous Finesse. It increases the chance of a gear piece getting a legendary modifier when being identified. And while it's only plus 1%, the base is 3% chance. So getting five extra percent for two expertise points changes it from like one in whatever, 33 per, uh, to like one in 20, which is significant. So I'm gonna go that and hope for some more legendary roles, like this shield that I'm just about to retire. Goodbye. <laughs> and we also got two unspent skill points. Could go a life leech actually. I'll leech back some lives on my lucky hits. That's not a bad idea. And since I failed due to my own greed and stupidity, I feel like I want a revenge vault. Leaves, coal, rotten flesh, and dirt. Let this tree provide me with leaves, as well as charcoal. Oh, I love the melter. I love it so much. <laughs> it's so satisfying. Perfect. And since I have the red scroll one, that means that I need to seal this one, so I guarantee a scab run perfect and it's time to go again and please no more winter themes no it's another theme this is not a terrible scab even though it looks like a lot of things they are they're common most of these items except for the black mob essence which is easy enough i think there are slimes in this theme yep and spiders i think both of those drop black mob essence oh uh that's one gotta put my magnet on Watch out for the poison. Sorry, friends. I shouldn't kill my friendlies, but I need your black mob essence. <laughs> Spiders. No black mob essence. No black mob essence. Please just give it to me so I don't have to kill more friends. Oh, thanks. Poisoned. Life leech is great. It's absolutely great. Every time I have those mega hits. Ooh, I think I just found a fundamental focus. Oh, yes, I did. They are extremely good. That allows you to... They allow you to reroll the implicits, the base stats of any item. They're very expensive to make. They cost like a poke. That's a great find. Oh, no, more friends. Sorry. Sorry. I think I have three black mob essence. I need, I need two more. Oh, I don't care about you. You guys are evil. You guys are not friendly. I got another one. Sorry. Sorry, Zers. Nothing. It hurts my soul to kill my friends like this. There we go. Okay, I'm not gonna kill anyone, any more of you. I'm finding an incredible amount of ornate though in the <laughs> in this room. Pretty crazy. I did not kill a slime. Don't think that I, that's not me. That was, uh, oh, it might have been the lava that killed it. Hello, ooh, here's another epic PY with gilded chest. I need those. 
Don't touch my friend. Any red scrolls? That's one. Nice. One out of five. Oh, some coins. Any blood vials? <laughs> Not a single blood vial there. What? Come on, man. Coins. That's a blood vial. Nice. Some cracked pearl. That's two. Still just two. Friends, hello. Uh, that's another one. Okay, so I have three. Oh, I think there's more coins in this house. Hello? Yep, coins. That's uh, two blood vials. I think I have all of them. Oh, big boy champion. Sir, please don't burp. Please don't burp. Oh, he burped right at the end. Come on, don't burp, don't burp, don't burp. Yes, beautiful. Hmm, I think we got a little bit of a bug in this theme. <laughs> okay, clean, clean me up my own bugs. The only way I know how. <laughs> I have just realized that I also needed skeleton bone shards. I'm lucky I stopped in the Zora room. Should mine all of this out. I also need, yeah, I need a Lexandrite door. Seven more. I'm gonna loot this entire thing. I don't know how many bone shards I have, but I'll check after the room. I'm, I should be able to get four. They're only common. No, stop poisoning me. There's so many slimes in this vault, man. Sir Burpee, yeah, of course. And your brother, Sir Burpee the second. <laughs> Right, that's actually with eight and a half minutes left. I want to see how I'm doing because I have no idea. I have five bone shards. So I've got enough in this room. Nice. I have 20 ripped pages. I have all the blood vials. Actually, I'm done. I have all the black mobiles as well. Nice. Great success. I'm, I'm happy that I realized that I needed bone shards because I had completely missed that. That gives us a healthy amount of time. Eight minutes uh, to greed and actually... It's not looking so good for my... Oh, that's a... That's an ore room, the crystal room. Oh, and that's an echo ore! I need that! I need echo... I need four echo, actually. <laughs> I could get lucky. Could get very lucky. I can deal with these first, though, and that creeper is scary. I don't want him to blow it up. Because he will. He's evil. Sir? No. Yeah, I need four echo gems in order to make the crafting grid. Let's see. I got six! I got six! Yes! Oh, that's so good. That's so good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just loot out this entire room. <laughs> and there's the Lexandrite right completed. <laughs> this room is great. Absolutely great for finding the non-common gems or anything but Lermar, really. Wait, that's another Echo Gem. Oh, imagine double luck. Two Echoes. Okay, that's better than none. Better than one. I'll take it. That's eight in total from two ores. That's a very good ratio. This has been one of the best rooms so far in this world, I think. I am moving on. That was such a good room. And beautiful. I absolutely love the design of the crystal caves. Oh, and what is this? What is this? It's a dig site! It's the best room in the game. It's one in 400 to find this, I think. Or maybe even less. I, I, need, to, I need to take a nice screenshot here. This room is just incredible. Unfortunately, I only have three minutes on the clock when I found it. But basically, the treasure sand contains, as you can see on the pickup notifier, a lot of stuff. Like, tons of stuff. Uh, <laughs> that is good. Key pieces and soul shards and catalyst fragments. Bronze. You can find gear. Yeah, this is... I'm not gonna have enough space in my inventory to loot these things. But, um... Uh, I'll do what I can here, I guess. Screw the red scroll with bounty. I'll do that some other time. This is just too good to pass up on. Poor unstacky boy is getting absolutely filled. And also my Paxel is very rapidly dying. I don't have shoveling on my hammer, so I can't use that. It's okay though. It's worth the durability, trust me. My poor Paxel. <laughs> it's hurting. That's that's just one of the corners dug out. And it's not even dug out. There's, there's so much left of this stuff. <laughs> I'm just gonna take what I can, I suppose. And my Paxel is about to break. There it goes. Oh! Oh, did I find another bug? Did it just auto-repair itself? <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's another bug. Two bug finds in one vault. <laughs> I, shall, I shall profit. Oh! Oh dear. Oh dear. I completely lost track of time. Completely lost track of time. Uh, there's stuff that I want to pick up here. Yes, more idols. Don't have more kiwis either. Uh, <laughs> oh no, this is scary. Uh, I don't know. I think there was a hand in the room after this one. Why do I always have to make it so stressful? Come on, come on, come on, come on. I only have one more kiwi. I can eat it. 
stairs. Magnet, turn yourself off. Please say there was a uh, thing to hand in here. Oh no, Iskal. Oh no. No. There was one for sure, but I think it was upstairs. Oh, goodness sake, Iskal. What are you doing, you greedy, greedy boy? <laughs> I had it completed. I thought it was in the center downstairs. Oh no. <laughs> you know what? You know what? That doesn't actually matter. We have enough gold to buy our body back. And the amount of stuff I got in that vault, like the, like that vault itself, that's the best vault I've ever run. Well now, now we are now we are clearly a poor boy, also in gold. But I don't even I don't even care right now. That was just again, again, me and my greedy feels. It's not great. Well it is great, actually. Gr greed is good. I wonder if uh, it was actually a valid strategy. I'm coping right now, but I wonder if it was actually a valid strategy to stay there and get all the extra loot that I did get. I had everything I needed there. <laughs> I need to bring more kiwis. I actually think that I, I put the kiwis back in the computer again. Yeah, I did. Oh, this is becoming a problem, isn't it? <laughs> Let's see the whole 17 key pieces. 102 catalyst fragments. Yeah, the dig site room is just absolutely incredible. And then, how did I do inside on Stacky Boy? It's filled to the brim. <laughs> it's filled to the brim. I looted like a fourth of that room, not even. Not even a fourth. 17 key pieces is so massive. I think I had, I had three in total through my entire playthrough before I found those. I gotta be my best vault. They gotta be the best vault I've ever done, despite me overgreeding it. I don't think there's a question. 8 Echo and the Dig Site Room. Ooh, that's pretty good. That's decent. That's great. Hmm, large, but I could possibly cut that one. Okay, and then these can go in here. Let's see, any good idols? Idols are great for mana. They, they are a mana utility thing. And also things like poison avoidance. That's a rare one. I might save that one. Oh, legendary chest plate. See, the... The, the thing that we took, the Fortier's finesse paying off. This also has 7% block chance It's in its implicit. Hmm, the trap disarm is good. The trap disarm is really good. I'll, I'll sit on it for a moment. I got rare leggings and uh, they're not bad, but I think mine are better. A rare wand. Don't need that. But that is one good scrappy chest plate. I'm going to gamble by removing, I'm null, nullifying it and rolling the 50-50 and hoping that it removes the two health. It did. Nice. Okay. And then that means that I can craft something on there. Straight up armor. My gold situation is not looking great, but I do have a little bit of gold laying here or sitting here. Did they go in the backpack? That did go in the backpack. Yeah, I'm going to craft the armor onto it. Four? No, a three. Let's see what that does to my defense. 66%. That's quite a bit of an upgrade. I do lose some mana region and item quantity. Both of those are really good, but the 18% trap disarm... Feels like a winner. Now, since I found the eight Echo Gems, that means that I can invest into an Echo Pog and upgrade this. I do need eight Pogs for that, though. Let's see if I have enough. Gem, I need eight of each. Oh, I don't have the Bombing Knight. Do I have any ores in here? I do, and there's one Bombing Knight. I mean, there is a tiny chance, tiny chance that this could work out. How many did I get? Oh, oh I got enough. I pulled a five. Oh, wait a minute. I don't have the Xenium. <laughs> that was a, oh, a short-lived excitement. Do I have more Xenium in here, maybe? Can you provide again, Mr. Chest? Okay. Okay. Tiny chance. Ah. Uh, I did it again! <laughs> this is the day you should play on the lottery, they say. Okay, here we go. That is a very healthy amount of pogs. Nice. And then I can do this. And surround that with eight pogs. And that's my first echo pog. Great success. This means that I can now craft the grid. Or rather the crafting grid. Pick up you and you, you and you. Crafting grid. Oh. Oh, that is an upgraded computer. Because now, now I can craft inside of it. And I'll demo it right away. I do have more echo gems. And I want to craft a quite big 
big craft, but that's gonna help me out a lot. This thing here, the deposit upgrade. So I need one of these, and because I have a crafting computer now, this is quite straightforward. Oh, it's so, so satisfying. I need two of these, it's expensive. And then I need this thing, which, yep, I can craft. Perfect, and that is a deposit upgrade. And deposit upgrades are fantastic because what I can do now when I come home is I can swap out the pickup upgrade for the deposit upgrade. And then I'm probably gonna forget to take it out <laughs> before I go into the vault to make my backpack useless, but... Oh, actually, I suppose that means that I need access to my... to my drawer controller again. Uh, it's hidden down there. I'll have to redesign that a little bit, but what I can do is I can shift double click like that and it deposits all of the stuff that he can deposit into the system immediately. Oh, what an upgrade. What an absolute upgrade. As long as I can remember to just change that out for the pickup upgrade. And actually, you know what? I can do it for Sir Pouch 2 into the machine. Oh, that's so nice. That's so very nice. How do I make sure I don't forget? I guess I'll put it on my important shelf <laughs> right there and right now i have the pickup upgrade in yep i have the pickup upgrade okay it's not that i don't like you okay it's that i like this boy better right now and i perform a little bit of repairs this monster this monster yeah there we go <laughs> it's a little bit ugly there but i believe i can fix that using some covers i put that there yes Today has been an absolute Omega day. I am so happy with all the vault runs and in total with vault diamonds I got to 67, with carbon I got to 178 of the refined, that's a lot. And knowledge, well we got 41 shards worth as well as the echo and some quality of life improvements including the crafting grid computer which is just such a an quality of life improvement. But that's gonna do it. I really do hope that you have enjoyed this episode. If you did, please do hit the like button down below. And if you're brand new, consider subscribing. And I will see you in the next episode. Wait, 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 wait. The black market has reset, hasn't it? Yes, it has. An hour ago. And there's a knowledge star and a black chromatic steel ingot. I I'm gonna buy both. I'll buy both. Anyway, uh, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.